Today on Side Guys, Matchstick Missiles. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, chemical fuels and propulsion. <laughs> chemical propulsion is the process by which energy from a chemical reaction is used to move an object. The equipment you need for this experiment includes matches, some paper clips, aluminum foil, and a butane lighter. The safety equipment you're going to need for this experiment is an apron or lab coat, some safety goggles, and some heat resistant gloves. This experiment should also be done outdoors with the adult supervision and you should never fire these missiles at another person. The first step to making our missiles, we're going to need something to make a little exhaust port to let the energy from the chemical reaction out. For this we've been using paper clips, so all you'll have to do is just straighten one of them out like this. Like so. Now we're going to take our matchstick, line it up with the paper clip, and we're going to take our aluminum foil and we're going to wrap it as tightly as we can around the head of the match. Like so. And once we're done, we can actually pull the paper clip out and be sure not to crush down the little exhaust port that we made for our missile. The next step in our experiment is to build a launch pad. Take a paper clip and bend up the middle to a 45 degree angle. Next, take a little piece of aluminum foil, fold it in half, and this will go underneath our paper clip to protect the table from burning. Now that we're outside with our missile and our launcher, we're ready to launch this. Take your butane lighter, and light the tip of the end of your rocket. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Let's do that one more time. This time, let's move the camera back a little bit. Oh. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. First, we need to look at what a chemical fuel is. A chemical fuel is a substance that releases energy by reacting with other substances around them during a chemical reaction. In our experiment, the reaction is oxidation in the form of combustion and our chemical fuels are the chemicals on the end of the matchstick. When our match reaches the temperature at which it combusts or lights on fire, a lot of tiny gas particles are released. You see these gas particles in the form of smoke. The total amount of particles at the beginning of our reaction when they are on the matchstick head is the same as at the end when they are in the form of a gas. But in the form of a gas, they take up a lot more space. So when they are suddenly released, they have nowhere to go except out the tiny exhaust port. Because the exhaust port is so small, they cannot all get out at once, and they begin to accumulate under the foil and press against its sides. As our gas molecules accumulate, the pressure inside the foil starts to increase. This increase in pressure generates a lot of potential force and energy. This pressure and potential force cause the gas molecules to be pushed out the exhaust port at a fast speed and create thrust. Thrust is the movement of mass in one direction. Now, you have to remember, once the matchstick gets hot enough, this entire process happens in the blink of an eye. What happens next in our experiment is a great example of Newton's third law of motion. His third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The action in this experiment is created when we light our match and the pressurized smoke shoots out our exhaust port and pushes in a downward direction. The reaction in our experiment is the movement of the rocket in the opposite upward direction. The size of the exhaust port can change the amount of thrust that your missile has. A larger exhaust port will allow more smoke to release before the pressure builds up. A smaller opening will compress the gases more, allowing for more force to be generated. Well, that's it for Matchstick Missiles. Thanks for watching. And if you liked our video, remember to subscribe on YouTube and drop us a comment below. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to science or related to this experiment, drop us a message on Facebook or in the comments below and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. One day, Mark, one day we'll get to the moon. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.